So this camera here uh, is the upgrade from my G7, uh, which is the camera I'm filming on right now. So this camera here is the upgrade from the G7, and turn it on, but you can't see because it doesn't have a lens on, but this is my new camera. It's got the up top screen on the top, so you don't have to look at your back screen. and then. It's got the famous IBIS sensor, if I can get it to work, like that, if I just click one of these buttons, yeah, it probably isn't that button, but, nope, it's this one, oh, there you go, see you in there, and there's on the back screen, uh, this light turns on with this front switch here. It's a really good design, this camera, because you can uh, turn the uh, top light on with the flick of your on and off button here. It's not in focus. Focus lens, the top on and off button. Um, this camera doesn't have a flash on top, as you can see. It's just got the mount for a flash or a microphone or whatever you want to put on top. <coughs> uh, but here is where you can put a flash in if you just take that off it's a little mount for a flash um, I better turn this camera off um, this camera has dual SD card slots that's my camera focus dual SD card slots and these two cameras are what we're going to be using to film some episodes on the podcast that is coming out soon it's not my podcast personally, it's one of my friends, but I said I'll film for him. Also on this camera is the cherry red ring on the top of the settings dial. And this camera you can also lock the settings dial so it doesn't move. Which I think is a really good, really good um, thing to put on cameras. I know Olympus has them on cameras and stuff, but this is the first one on a Lumix. Um, the other lens... The lens that I'd use on this camera mainly is the one I'm using on this camera right now. But I will be using this lens here, which is my telephoto 100 to 300. But since we're on micro four thirds, it is the 200 to 600. So this is the lens 100 to 300. Um, I use this lens for pretty much all my photos. And I do a couple of my videos on it, the ones that I need to stand really far away back from. I also have another lens, which is my prime lens. I need to buy more prime lenses, but this is the one I've got right now, which is the 25mm, which in micro four thirds, which these camera and this camera, is 50mm. So that's my prime 50mm, even though it says 25 on. Um, Alright, so I'll throw the prime lens on this camera, so you can see it. As you can see, it looks absolutely tiny on the camera. It looks a bit ridiculous, actually. But it's a really, really good lens. It's really good for the price that I got it for. It's an amazing lens. Also, if you can't already tell, um, the sound quality on this camera's gone up because I bought a microphone, which is the Rode Video Mic Go, actually. It's a really good microphone picks up everything. So this camera here is different to my G7 and it's different to a lot of cameras because it only has like one significant dial on the back. It's got one here but this is like the main one like so when I hold my cameras I use this to do like ISO, white balance and all that. 
and yeah it's another and also it's here so on my G7 you'd hold this button halfway down for it to autofocus but you change it to this button because this button's nice and mushy that makes sense it's a mushy button and then we have all the presets we have like preset 1, preset 2 come to me in a minute preset 2, preset 3 even though it says 3 but it's presets and yeah and also I'll turn the camera on when we go into autofocus a joystick Ugh, my god my camera does not like to focus does it no, so we're not going to focus, but it has a joystick on there. So this is my G7. Um, really, really good camera. It's one of my favourite cameras. Uh, I just needed the upgrade though for the stabilisation in the G9. And this camera has been good to me, but it hasn't had stabilisation in the sensor. So that's why I had to switch to the G9 because it's just a better camera altogether. And yeah, uh, I still use this camera, it's my secondary camera because who wouldn't? I haven't sold it because I knew I wouldn't get much back for it. Um, because it's quite an old camera, even though I bought it new like two years ago, it's still an old camera like back then. Um, I'm just really trying out the G9's functions because I just really want to test this camera because I've just got it and I can't go outside because the weather is miserable like usual. Um, I'm doing this on my desk so if you see this light patch here that's my computer I don't have a light so I have to use that for my um, light it's coming from my computer it does make a really nice like going across and as you can see this G9 can focus way better than my G7 uh, G7 uh, G7's not been good for auto focusing but it's good enough um, I'm just watching the battery go down on this G9 uh, on the G9 I will be using this lens which I'm filming on which is the 12 to 60 and I will I will use all my lenses on this if I'm honest. But if I can find it, I'll be using this one again. Hundred to three hundred. And the prime fifty millimeter again. I really like the camera, as I was saying before. Uh it's just got it brings out colour. Like the G seven is an amazing camera still. I love it to pieces, but it's just it's it's not it don't have the same features as a G9 but that's expected because the G9 is like three years younger than the G7 this is like older but I tell you what this G7 the grip on it I've really liked for such a long time but when I picked up that G9 it's got one of the best grips I've ever felt like now that I think of it the G7 my pinky slips off the bottom so it's just a bit, just a bit not, I will use it still, use it for secondary cameras, but I'll have to use it on a tripod. The one I'm using right now is the Manfrotto um, B3 Advanced. Uh, it's my photography tripod, I don't have a, a, a videography one. Um, sorry. Um, but yeah, so this camera here, <laughs> It looks stupid with this lens on, like, you can just imagine it. Like, this camera, this lens on, it just looks absolutely stupid. But with the G9, this lens looks small on it. So, this is why... These prime lenses are amazing, but they look absolutely tidgy. On the so, I ordered this camera off MPB, and I can get the box. I ordered this camera off MPB because I got it second hand, so that's their logo. MPB. Um, a really good camera. It's a really good second camera, second camera, second camera place because you can trust them. They won't scam you or anything like that. 
um, I paid for the accessories. Uh, I don't have the strap here, but we get wires. So I get the HDMI cable, because this camera has full HDMI, which I love. Um, and the HDMI cable. Oh, I don't think this is the HDMI. No, this is for if I want to use this as a webcam on a computer and stuff like that. Because I will be using that because it's a really good webcam. So, that was my final opinions on the G9 and the G7. Love the two cameras. I got the G9 yesterday. One of the best cameras. I've only used it for like 24 hours. One of the best cameras. I've said the best cameras quite a lot. One of the best cameras. Uh, G7, still one of my favourite cameras. I love all the Lumix lineup. Uh, they're just really good. The GH5, all that, really good cameras. Uh, also, go follow my Instagram, link in description, or I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the next video. And by the way, this video, um, there hasn't been that many videos on the channel. That's because of, of coronavirus. I've had nothing to film. So I hope you enjoy this video for the to make up for the month that I haven't been filming. Um, when we kind of ease out of lockdown and stuff, I will be filming again with my granddad mainly. Uh, me and my granddad uh, will be doing camera reviews, hopefully, uh, on his Fujifilm something. It's still an old camera, but we like doing reviews on the cameras. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.